Of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one, today is fifth day of March, being Sunday, first Sunday of March, and being week two of Lent, year A. And readings will be coming from Genesis chapter 12, verse 1 to 4. A second reading will come from second letter of St. Paul to Timothy, chapter 1, verse 8 to 10. A, re a response to Psalm will come from Psalm 33, verse 22. A gospel message will come from Matthew Gospel, chapter 17, verse 1 to 9. The theme of our message today is that God, ca God calls us and enlightens us. God who called you enlightens you to understand why he called you. And tell you the purpose of his call. He doesn't just call it for fun. Call it for a purpose. So God is calling all of us to serve his own part. According to his pure purpose. Not your own purpose. Not because of your merit. But out of his pure purpose for you. Now why today you can see the call. Beginning with our father Abraham. God called him. And say, Abraham, leave your father soon, leave your town, leave your community, and come to her. Let me go and show you the land and another nation and another family where you will belong to. And they promise him, say, if you obey me, I'll bless you and make you famous. I'll bless those who bless you, those who curse you, I will curse them. From you are the families of nations will bless themselves. You will be a blessing to every person. Abraham obeyed God for some answer the call, and they all came to pass. He answered the call. And now why today you can see it happening again. Jesus called James, John, and Peter and took them up to the mountain. He called them, and they went up to the mountain. And there Jesus transfigured. His face was shining, clothing was dazzling. And they were doing that. They saw him talking with Elijah Moses. And Peter started speaking. What he doesn't know. Let's have a boot for you. It's better we stay here. Because of the Shekinah glory he saw. The glory of God. And he said, let's build a boot for you. One for Moses, one for Elijah, and one for you. And the voice came from the crowd and covered them and said, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Yes, I called you, I'm enlightening you that the purpose of calling that you listen to him. Now I called you to listen to him. And by then they also became very fearful and fear. when they heard the voice, they all fell, fell on the ground and prostrated themselves. And Jesus told them, I said, Don't be afraid. And when they lifted up their face, they saw no other person except Christ himself. And he told them not to tell any person of what they saw on the has risen from the dead. That won't bring another confusion to them. You see, he called them to the mountain and they enlightened them in the mountain about the transfiguration of the Lord, about the heavenly glory, and about the reason to be obedient to the voice of Christ. His beloved. And now while Paul is writing to Timothy, his son, and telling him, Timothy, my son, take your share of suffering for the gospel in the power of God, who saved us and called us with a holy calling. Not in virtue of our works, no, it's a holy calling from him. But in the virtue of his own purpose and the grace which he gave us in the well, he gave us in Christ ages ago. He gave us this grace ages ago. And now has manifested 
through the appearance of our Savior Christ Jesus, who abolished death, he came and abolished death, who called us to, us to see abolished death, and brought life and immortality to light through the gospel. He said, this because of Christ brought abolished death and brought immortality and life through the gospel message. So he called us to give us life. He called us to make us immortal. He called us to abolish death in our lives. Now he is enlightening us. I wish you would do this to by sharing his sufferings, our own share of his suffering. You see the call to enlighten, to call us to enlighten us to serve him and him alone. To live for him and him alone. That's the call. That's the enlightenment. You know new things. Abraham discovered new things by the call. Timothy discovered new things by the call. Peter, John, and James discovered new things by the call to the mountain. So anytime God calls you, he has a purpose for calling you. And when you're obedient to that call, you will hear many things. You will have new enlightenments about life, about God, and about your calling. And that's what the psalmist who understood this message so well today, this said, May your merciful love be upon us, O Lord, and we hope in you. May your merciful love be upon us as we hope in you, O Lord. Yes, when we hope in him, his merciful love will be upon all of us. There's no secret about it. Our total hope is in him. I have no other person than him. Now we we'll look upon him. So our hope is God. And our hope is built in the promise he made to us. Our hope is built on the call he gave us. Our hope is built on the enlightenment he gave us. The promises he made to us. That's our hope. That the gate of hell cannot prevail against this church. You can see, as promised to Peter, that will be with us till the end of time. As he promised the apostles. I wish I be the light of the earth and the salt of the earth and the light of the world. And see Matthew 5, 13, and 14. So that's the call. To, the call us to enlighten us. So he didn't call you for fun or for comedy, but for serious purpose, according to his own grace and purpose. May God help us understand this message today, that the call of God God called us and enlightened us for the purpose for which he called us. And we are strengthened by the promise he made to us. We ask through this, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will answer the call of God and accept his enlightenment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you all. Amen.